Welcome back to the video. So today I'm showing you my team uh, that I actually got gold one for the first time. So some of you may be thinking uh, gold one, that's nothing. I get like elite every week or top 100, no, no. Or uh, others will probably think that's pretty decent. And for me, that is uh, decent. So I will show you now before I show you the team I use. Uh, obviously foot champions and then leaderboards. There we go, so 28 matches played, 20 wins, so 20 and 8 I went, so 20 wins, 8 losses. I didn't play the other 2 because it wouldn't have got me uh, Elite 3 if I won both. Uh, I'd have to win 3 and I didn't have 3 games left. So um, if we look on top 100, it was 30, so obviously I wasn't close. Well, 28 was the lowest, only because there was some regional uh, qualifiers, I think, so 28 isn't usually a top 100. But uh, yeah, that is that, and also right now, uh, if you want to see where I am in Division Rivals, I'm in rank one. Uh, I've got, I'm quite close to division three, but in division four, and these are the, the division five rewards because I've got uh, like promoted through uh, through the week, so it like hasn't changed yet. But next week will be division four rewards. So on Thursday, I'll be opening them up and doing a video on them. Hopefully, getting some decent packs. But my team is probably why, uh, or maybe why you want to see this video so um obviously it is six million coins around about obviously you can go up and down there is there could be no there's there is four technical uh, technically four SBC players in but two of them you can buy off the market so you'll see in a sec if we go to BPL for the goalie you might have seen the video I did get David hair red so um, if you count his his inform then that's like 350k that's what I've I've, uh, I've imagined the two, the, well there's two icons in the team, I, I've imagined them as uh, tradable cards for the price because that's how much it would be to buy. Then the two SBC cards count as nothing, so two centre backs, one's an icon and one is Varane. So we've got uh, Campbell and uh, Varane, great great partnership, didn't even talk about De Gea but obviously it goes without saying he's absolutely amazing so yeah, uh, brilliant brilliant uh, keeper. It's just not much to say about keepers. If it's De Gea or uh, Courtois, you're in, you're, you're fine. So, yeah, lucky to get De Gea red in form. And then Campbell and Varane, absolute great partnership. Obviously, uh, Campbell, low medium, so he stays stays back six foot two, which is great. And then those stats are absolutely amazing. Apart from his shooting, passing, and dribbling, well, wow, dribbling's got eight seven reaction, eighty four composure, which is really nice. And then great pace, defending, physical, absolutely immaculate. And then Varane. Uh, Amazing pace and then defending physical also good, but not as good as uh, not a, not as good defender as Campbell, but also uh, good reactions and composure. And then medium high, so uh, stays back as well, six foot three, a little bit taller than Campbell. And then left back is the first SBC card. It is Marcus Alonso. So in the price of six mil, I've counted as nothing. You could just buy like Robertson in form if you haven't. Just any BPL uh, left back there or a French left back. You'll see why in a sec. Right back we've gone for Mounier. Both of these fullbacks are actually great because they're tall. In my opinion, I like tall ones. High, high, but I've got to stay back while attacking, so he does stay back. Then three-star, weak foot, three-star skill moves. Isn't too bad. He plays on the left and left-footed, so um, green's everywhere. Dark green, dark green's absolutely everywhere. Obviously, if they go to the final, he comes like a nicely rated card, so his card will be amazing by the end of the game if Chelsea do go far, which I hope they do because uh, I don't support Chelsea, I support Cardiff, but they, it would be nice to get him some agility boosts, agility and balance. Could change his, he has got a shadow right now because I wanted to boost his pace, but maybe I could do something for his dribbling, maybe an engine or something, I'm not sure, but he is a great, great card and he'll only get better. And then Mounier, another, he's like an Alonso sort of player, he is high high as well, 4 star weak foot so better, and then 3 star skill is the same, 6 of 3, really really tall, and then great stamina and then uh, all round stats on him, so defence is awesome, obviously for, I forgot to say there's 3 players off can. Uh, Varane and De Gea, two of them so far, but you won't you won't notice it because when we have the manager and 100 chem, De Gea does get plus fives on on most of his stats. So left mid is oh sorry, there is one more player off chem. Uh, it is going to be Decore there, and then Kante here. If you can find him, there he is as a cam. He gets full cam. People are probably thinking, why don't you just put them in the right positions and stuff? But to get everyone who I want in this team, I have to do that. And then the right winger, you probably will know who it is if you've watched my video. We obviously did pack Team Leo Mbappe, and just look at those stats. 99s everywhere, 98s, 90s everywhere. Lowest stat is, bar is defending, is 73 free, free kick accuracy, and then it's his aggression. But 
he's absolutely brilliant. He's the best player I've used in the game. If we look there, 107 games, 60, uh, no, sorry, 68 goals and 100, no, 68 games and 107 goals with 24 assists. That is absolutely brilliant. Playing a uh, left striker, so he it in. It is, it's just, it's so amazing using him. I didn't believe I, I'd get someone that good on FIFA. But then Ibra uh, is the centre forward. I'll do a strike in a sec whilst we talk about these. So the midfield would be the three centre mids, uh, well, one CDM and two centre mids, sorry. Uh, Decore in CDM, uh, Kante right centre mid and Rabiot left centre mid. Absolutely brilliant uh, trio, all the uh, French players. Decore, high medium, but I put him on, stay back, and he, he actually doesn't come up at all, literally. And then 93 stamina, 81 strength, 83 stand tackle, 82 interceptions. They all get boosted, and I've also got Shadow to boost his pace. He looks actually quite bad, but he's really, really good. I wouldn't be using him if he, if he wasn't good. And then Rabio in there as well. Uh, all round stats, more of a box to box. I think he's high, well, he's high medium actually. Six foot four, really, really tall. Three star, three star, not bad. Left footed. And Kante, obviously, doesn't. He just goes out saying 347 games, probably one of the most cat players in my club. Maybe Munier actually. Yeah, Munio is 388, but Kante, absolutely amazing. He's only scored two goals in those games, but he's got 48 assists, which isn't bad because he used to play him CDM. So, uh, yeah, really, really good stats. It's just amazing stats, actually. So, key stats probably is balance, 8, 92. It's just he's so agile and stuff. So, um, yeah, really good midfield. And then, obviously, Mbappe is a striker. Ibra is going to be in my cam. He's got uh, 58 goals and 40, 59 assists. In 82 games, medium low, which is it's all right. Could be better if it was high low or something. And then right footed, four star weak from five star skill moves, which is brilliant. Six foot five is absolutely amazing as well. And then we've got amazing stats across the board. The only bad stat, and it is bad, but two actually stamina 71 is so annoying. I have to sub him off. And then balance 44. You you sort of can't notice that because of his agility, but he doesn't really need balance if I'm honest. But yeah, everywhere else is. Really, really good. Uh, 94 finishing, for example. 98 shot power. 89 short pass. Uh, long pass, 82. 92 curve. 97 penalties. 99 composure. He's brilliant, literally. If you didn't do his SBC, I feel bad for you because Alonso and Ibra, the two SBC cards in this team, and I've, I've blanked their price out, but Ibra is about 100k for me. I think it's about 180k to do. And then Alonso, I can't even remember, it was so long ago, but I'm glad I've done him. And then up in striker, we have got. The other icon, Shevchenko. I've done his SBC, obviously. Well, not obviously, but 16 game, 9 goals, 7 assists. He started off really bad. I was thinking, oh, God, he's going to be awful. But he has got back into it. He plays uh, right striker next to Mbappe. And Mbappe just uh, steals the game. So, Shevchenko doesn't get a look in after time. But anyway, 4-star weak foot. 3-star skills. 4-star weak foot is great. High height isn't too bad. Obviously, stay forward on him as a striker. Um, good pace after boosts. And then, uh, 94 attack position. 93 finishing. 92 shot power, 93 kick accuracy, uh, 88 reactions, 89 dribbling, 86 jumping, 86 head and accuracy. He's really, really good. He's six foot as well, which is nice because he wins some headers as well. So um, that is the team I use. Do have a few subs. Uh, obviously, I've got these loans that I could be using soon, but then apart from that, I don't really use them. And then Salah, Hamshaker Pack, don't really use him. Martinez used to be my striker before. Uh, uh, Shevchenko, and then Son I use a lot. Um, the Janini I've used, um, Lozano's good, Lukaku's probably my favourite sub, I'll tell you about him now, and then, yeah, there's some of them, uh, I've obviously missed one, I don't, uh, I think it's Kimpembe, I don't really sub him on though, I always put him on just in case they say, uh, like, uh, need a defender really, but Lukaku, so imagine in game, we are, this is what it goes to in game, 4 and 2 and 2, 2, and then Decore there, and then Ibra there, Switch them and switch the centre mids like that. So that would that's what it would be in game. Yeah, definitely that. And then um, literally, I bring on Lukaku there at like extra time or 70th minute, whenever. And Lukaku, his pace just down the left is absolutely amazing. Just he plays the through ball straight across up to Mbappe, and then or or a lob through ball, and that's great. And then Dejanini also bring on 10 games, two goals. It's obviously he hasn't scored many, but he's six foot three and four star, four star, and he has got good agility. And then stamina is great, and head and accuracy is nice. And then Sana bring into cam for Ibra when he's uh, tired. And then Salah and Martinez also bring on right striker. I, I never sub off Mbappe. I accidentally did it once with a quick sub, but literally apart from that, he's played every 
120 minutes or 90 minutes. He played every bit, so because he's got 99 stamina or 98, what is it? 99. So he just doesn't need seven off. But when we go back to a formation, four, four, one, one, I think it is. Yeah, that's it. Do that. Do that. All the way across. Obviously, if we if we put it back into this formation. It says 96 chem, and then obviously I put in a manager. I'm not going to leave it on that. It goes to 99 after uh, Priel is in it. Uh, Ibra getting 8 chem, Varane on 8, and then two sevens on the Corey and De Gea, which you could think is bad, but I got gold ones to prove like you don't actually need them. They still get boosts. There's no minuses anywhere, and De Gea same with him. Plus five, plus five, plus five, plus three, plus three, plus five. So. Literally, well, you can't uh, reflex is probably is plus five, but it goes to 99 anyway. And then acceleration is irrelevant anyway, he's actually pretty quick for a keeper. 61 isn't bad at all. So, in game, this is gonna be a quite a long video, but I did want to show you my team and how I got there. Defensive, I changed to, or could be attack, it could be any of them. I put on uh, pressure after heavy touch, then drop the width, and then put on fast build up and leave that width the same. And then, like I said, formations, I go to 4 and 2 and 2, narrow, so 4 and 2 and 2, 2, the core into CDM, and Bappe up to right striker, and a, a, no, left striker. And then, if I can get there, it's so hard to get to Kante. There we go, Kante, and this is, the, what is going on? I actually can't get there. There we go. Kante and Rabio switch around. That's how it looks in game. Then rolls. Uh, captain doesn't matter. Hang on, we do it here. Rolls. Captain doesn't matter. Short free kick. I have uh, Shevchenko on, and then long free kick. Kante because he's small doesn't need to win the headers. But I often change short free kick to Ebra because he's got a great free kick as well. Penalties 100% Ebra. Left corner is uh, Mbappe, right corner is Alonso because he's left footed, literally one of the only ones and Rabiot we can't take one so that is that is my team uh, I've talked so much I don't have any clips because I haven't been recording but it wasn't really it wasn't really a team you're going to buy anyway because one, six million is a lot and two, it's more players I've got untradeable and SBCs I've done so yeah, if you enjoyed the video please <laughs>